Hello children, in this video we are going to see about aquatic habitats. Aquatic habitats. Aqua, the word aqua means water. Aqua habitats what are water bodies like lake, pond, sea sand, oceans. Okay, so what are the aquatic habitats? Water bodies like lakes, pond, sea sand, oceans are called as aquatic habitats. Aquatic habitats are two types. They are freshwater habitat, saltwater habitat. So what are the two types of aquatic habitat? Freshwater habitat, saltwater habitat. Let's see briefly about aquatic habitat in this video. First, let's see about freshwater habitat. So, freshwater habitats are water bodies like uh, lakes, ponds and rivers. Okay, so they contain fresh water. Yes? So, they are called as freshwater habitat. Animals such as fish and frog are found in such habitats. Now, Let's see the adaptive features of freshwater fish. Okay, so freshwater fish has certain features which enable it to survive in the freshwater. What are they? Let's see. They have an air bladder that help them to float in water. Okay, so uh, these fishes, they have an air bladder which helps them to float in water. And their bodies are streamlined. They have fins which enable them to swim in water. You know, fishes they have the swims which enable uh, fins they, which enable them to swim in water. They use oxygen which dissolved in water for breathing. So they will use the dissolved oxygen which is present in the water so wa oxygen mixed with water is called as dissolved oxygen yes, dissolved oxygen so fish will use the oxygen which dissolved in water for their breathing now they have gills you know fish has gills which helps them to exchange gases in the water so the gills will help them to exchange gas in the water as fish cannot take oxygen directly from the air, they die when taken out of water. So, fish cannot breathe the oxygen directly. Okay. So, when we are taking the fish out of water, it will die. It needs the dissolved oxygen in water. The oxygen which dissolved in water only, the fish can breathe. So, when we are taking it out of air, it cannot breathe the direct oxygen so that it will die. Their bodies are covered with scales and mucus making them waterproof. Yes, so you know fish is always it is in water. Yes, but their bodies it is covered with scales and mucus which making them waterproof. Adaptive features of aquatic plants. So, aquatic plants, plants uh, which uh, live in water has certain features. So, what are they? They have a root system which help to hold the plant in its place. Okay, so they have a root system which help it to hold the plant in its place. Their stem is long. Their stem is long, hollow and Thin, enabling them to sway with flowing water. Okay, so they will float with the water because their stem is long and hollow and thin, very thin. Okay, they have a root system which enable to hold the plant in its place, but the stem will be sway with the flowing water. Leaves will be either floating or submerged. Okay, so the leaves will be either floating or submerged. Now, 
uh, free floating plants so these plants leaves will be floating in the water yes so free floating plants are lotus and hyacinth water hyacinth which has a large a uh, flat leaves with a waxy coating which makes them waterproof and prevent them from decaying okay so the leaves of lotus and water hyacinth are uh, large flat leaves which uh, has a waxy coating which makes them waterproof and prevent them from decaying now sub uh, submerged plants you can see in the picture this is hydrilla so these submerged plants will be under the water is yes? so they uh, example for submerged plants are hydrilla valisneria okay so what are the examples for submerged plants children hydrilla and valis valisneria which has a thin ribbon like leaves okay so they have a thin ribbon like leaves which can bend with the flowing water without getting damaged so they will not float okay they will be bending uh, with the flowing water without getting damaged okay so in aquatic plants there are two types what are they free floating plants and submerged plant so free floating plants they have a large flat leaves with waxy coating which makes them waterproof and prevent them from decaying example for free floating plants are lotus and water hyacinth then submerged plants hydrilla valisneria which has thin ribbon like leaves which can bend with the flowing water without getting damaged understood children now let's move to the adaptive features of a frog so you know frog can survive in aquatic habitat yes so why frog live in pond they can survive both on land and in water you know frogs are amphibians yes? so they can survive both on land and in water so some adaptive features help it to stay in water what are they it has a webbed feet okay so frog has a webbed feet to swim in water then it has lungs which help it to breathe on land okay so it has a webbed feet to swim in water it has a lungs to breathe on land then frog has moist skin so the skin of the frog is moist which help it to breathe in water by absorbing dissolved oxygen in water so in water it will breathe the dissolved oxygen uh, because of its skin okay and in land it has lungs so it will breathe the direct it will, it will breathe directly oxygen from the air but in water it has moist skin which help it to breathe in water by absorbing the dissolved oxygen in water then it has a strong hind legs to hop on land to catch its prey okay so it has a hind legs which will which will uh, which it can um, hop on properly it can withstand on the land to catch its prey so these are some of the adaptive features of frog now let's see about salt water habitats so seas and oceans uh, are the water bodies uh, which are salty small plants like algae and large plants like seaweeds are found in uh, salt water habitats okay so small plants like algae and large plants like seaweeds are found in uh, salt water habitats so here you can see the sea anemones so sea anemones also found in the salt water so it will uh, stick to the rocks uh, with the help of their sucker like base okay so they will stick on the rocks with the help of their sucker this is called sea anemone okay so sea anemone will stick on the rock with the help of their sucker like base so this uh, 
sucker like base uh, which make it to stick on the mountain it will prevent them from getting swayed away by water currents and animals like fish dolphins octopus squids and whales uh, salt water uh, sorry they can also they are also live in the salt water habitat okay so fish dolphins octopus uh, squids and whales are uh, present in salt water habitats so whales and dolphins so here you can see the whales and dolphins are aquatic mammals they are called as what aquatic mammals they have streamlined bodies okay same like fish it also has streamlined bodies then fins like fish so it has the fins like fish gills are absent in them so you know fish breathe through gills says but in whales and dolphins they are mammals so they uh, they do not have gills okay gills are absent in them they breathe, uh, breathe how they will breathe they contain blow holes okay so blow holes are present on the upper part of their um, upper part of their head okay in their upper part of their head they will breathe in air through blow holes present on the upper part of their head uh they can stay inside water for long time without breathing so dolphin and whales they can stay inside water for long time without breathing now here you can see squids here octopus okay so squids and octopus do not have streamlined body when they move in water so here you can see they have an entirely different structure from other aquatic habitats yes. so here you can see the structure of squids and octopus they do not have a streamline when they move in water so they stay near the sea bed and catch the prey that moves towards them okay so where they will be near the sea bed and they will catch the prey which moves towards them and when they are moving uh, they will make their bodies uh, streamlined okay so they can make their body streamlined when they move now this cute sand octopus first they will breathe with the help of gills So I hope you have understand about aquatic habitats. If you have any doubt, you can ask children. Thank you.